How's everybody doing? Mike here, Gen X Arcade. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get Mario to work on the Nintendo 64 version on Batacera. So we are running Batacera 37 on this, and the joystick doesn't do anything for Mario. So I'm going to show you how to fix that real quick. So first, we need to go ahead and make sure that the game is loaded. We need to enter RetroArch. You're going to do that by hitting your hotkey and the B button at the same time. So I'm going to hit this right there. Okay, so now we're in RetroArch. Now what we need to do is we're already in Quick Menu. That's where you should be as soon as you enter uh, RetroArch. And we're going to scroll down to Controls. Now, keep in mind when you're in RetroArch, your A and B buttons are now switched. When you're playing games, this is A and this is B. When you're in RetroArch, it's switched. That's now A and that's B. So we're going to use this as our Enter key. I'm going to refer to that as A, and I'm going to refer to this as B. So, you're going to scroll down to Controls, enter with the A button, and we're going to scroll down to Port 1 Controls. Now what we need to do is get down to where it says D-Pad. So we're going to adjust D-Pad, hit your A button, and we're going to scroll all the way down to Control control stick y negative hit your a button to select that now we're going to go down we're going to do d pad down hit your a button and all we're going to do is just select the one that's underneath the first one that we did so we set the first one to control stick y negative this one's going to be control stick y positive hit your a button to select that Now we're going to go down to uh, the next one, uh, D-pad left, hit your A button, and now we're going to go down to our third selection. So this is going to be control stick X negative, hit your A button to set that. And the last one is going to be D-pad right, hit your A button, and we're going to go down to the last selection that is control stick positive. Hit your A button. So now you'll see that we've got all of these D-pads set. One, two, three, four settings. So you can see here the way that we've got them set. Now once you've done all this, we can exit by hitting the B button, which is going to be right here now. Now we need to save. Now if you are using a two-player control panel, you're going to have to go to port two controls and do the same thing that we just did. I'm using a one-player control panel, so I don't need to. So we're going to go up here to Manage Remap Files. This is going to save what you just did. So hit your A button to enter there. And you're going to go down to Save Game Remap File. Hit your A button. And you're going to see a little bubble come up here. Save successfully. Now we can exit. So hit the B button. Just keep hitting it till you get back to your main screen. And you can resume your game by hitting A on Quick Menu and then just resume. And if you did it right, you should be able to control Mario. There we go. So that's it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to send me a message or comment below. I'm happy to help. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing. It's Mike here at Gen X Arcade. We'll see you guys next time at the Arcade.